Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got in another battery charger to take a look at. Uh, this one's coming from XSTAR and it's the PB2 SL V2. And this one's a little bit unique in that it's a two in one. Not only is it a battery charger, but it's also a power bank. I've never had one like this, so I'm kind of excited for it. Uh, it's got a lot of really cool features on it. This can charge 18650 batteries, 18700s, 2700s, and 21700s. So stick around if you want to learn about it. We'll do a real quick unboxing. We'll go over all those features and specifications. Uh, we'll actually charge some batteries, and then we'll also use the power bank feature, um, and then we'll get some thoughts on it. The packaging with XSTAR, it doesn't matter if it's their flashlights or solar panels or chargers, is always really well done. Uh, but you can see we have a 2 amp charging rate, and then the output max is 22.5 watts. So you're going to easily be able to charge any type of cell phone or tablet or anything like that with it. It's got a bunch of safety features on it. Show you some of the specifications back here. A couple QR codes if you want to scan those. All right, let's get this out of the box and I'll show you everything that comes with it. So it looks like we have a USB A to C charging cable. I suppose you could use that to charge up your devices too. We're going to have a manual here. It looks like it's multiple languages. I'll just show you the English one here. Somewhat small print on it. And this looks like it comes with a two year warranty. So here is the PB2 SL V2. There is something rattling in there, so I'm just gonna pop this open. Let's see what's in here. So it's this little thing. I think this is like an adapter uh, because 18650s are smaller than 21700s. So this probably goes like that for the shorter battery, but I'll let you know for sure on that. Kind of show you around here. I don't know how well the camera is picking this up, but the actual color is kind of like a matte gray. It's like a dark gray. And then up here is like a uh, matte black. Show you some of the information there. Uh, looks like our USB A is an output only, the USB C is input and output. Dimensions. We're looking at a length of just under five inches, a width of 2.2 inches, and a height or a depth of just over an inch. And there it is compared to a dollar bill. And the charger itself weighs 2.8 ounces Obviously, once you put your batteries in, there's going to be more weight. Let's just get into using it, and then we'll kind of go over some of the features while we're using it. So first thing I'll say is that it has these magnets here, and that's how it basically closes itself. And they seem really strong. You can put this either way, too. Like, if you want the X-Star on that side, you can. Or back this way. So I said the four sizes that this charger slash power bank will do. Um, the 18650s and the 21700s are definitely more common than the 18700s and the 2700s. I don't have any of those batteries there at all. But as this is right here without that adapter, this will only do the 21700s um, that are button top or that have the built-in protection. So they're actually a little bit longer. And I unfortunately don't have any of those batteries either. I probably have, I don't know, 10 or 15 21700 batteries, but they're all flat tops. 
Um, and like some of them will come like with the USB-C port, like a charging port built into the battery and, and that makes it longer. Or again, they'll just have the, uh, the protection built into it. Uh, but these are basically the same length. And so to charge 21700s, you might get lucky and the length is, is enough that you can just put it in here and it will work. Uh, yes, it's showing that we're at 44% on this battery. Um, but you can also use that little adapter even on 21700s as long as they are flat tops. Um, which is probably what I'd recommend because then you know you're going to be getting the solid contact on it. But yeah, like I showed earlier, this little adapter, it doesn't matter which way, like there is no front or back to it. Uh, so you can just drop it in there and then take your flat top. Positive is going to go up, go down in here, and it will just slide right past that. And now it's in there much more secure. And I could put the other 21700 in here at the same time and I could charge both of those or I could have both of them to power. I could also leave a 21700 in and then take an 18650 battery. This one is a button top. Throw it in there. Fits in there great. And then I can you know, use this. I could pull this out and put an 18650 flat top and that will show here in a minute this battery is fully charged but let's go into the process of actually charging up some of the batteries so we're just going to take our USB-C end plug it in there go over here Let's see what we get here. So right now we're charging at 1.3 amps. We'll see if that goes up any more or not. The battery's at 46% and it's at 4.8 volts. Let's go ahead and throw a second battery in. See what happens with it. Now I know that when you have two batteries that it does charge them both at the exact same time it sounds kind of weird but a lot of chargers if you put two batteries in it will actually charge like bay one first and then it starts charging bay two this will do both at the same time i was trying to see if i could basically toggle through stuff to see like what the percentage is on one battery and then the second battery but it doesn't look like I don't see any way of doing it it just kind of cycles back to the second one I just put in I do know one of the features of this is that it will charge both batteries at two amps uh, the whole time that it's in there um, I have like an older XR charger and these outside slots here they will charge at one amp, um, but if you put something in one of the middle slots, it reduces it to a half amp. So when you have a 21700 battery, it takes a really long time charging at 0.5 amps. Uh, but this, again, will do two amps the whole time. Another feature of this PB2 SLV2 is basically if you have a battery that is so dead that it won't charge in other chargers, this can actually revive those batteries and start charging them again. Another nice feature is just like your cell phone, like it will charge, let's just say from 20% to 80% kind of fast. And then that last 20%, it kind of takes a little bit longer. Um, it does that to protect the battery, protect the device. And this does the same thing. It does it in three stages. I don't know the exact percentages, but let's just say it is 80%. And then it'll slow down to like, you know, 90 to 95%. And then the last 5% might take a little bit longer, but again, it extends the battery life. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a sizable difference between an 18650 battery and a 21700. Um, if you had two 21700 batteries in this, and then you put this case on or cover, um, 
they're going to stick up a lot higher than what the 18650s are, as you can see here. So if you put two, two of the 18650s, well, there's obviously going to be a whole lot more space here. So there's a lot more room for stuff to move around now. So what they've done is put this little device right here that you can flip and it locks in place. And then when you put this on, it, that basically is pushing down against those 18650 batteries. You see that? So then they don't, so if you were to drop this or if it's moving around a bunch, the batteries don't come dislodged and then either not charging or not charging your device. All right, let's go the opposite way now. Let's try to charge some stuff up with this. So I'm gonna do an old phone here first. And it immediately started charging. And the display will tell us how much we have going out now. So it's saying that we're in output one here and basically it's around what is that like just over five watts total so it's five volts and one amp so that phone's charging at just over five watts um, let's try to do an ipad off of the other one so i went to the usb-c and then got this ipad here let's see if it starts charging that is charging now And it's showing output two here. Again, we'll see if we can go between the two of them here in a minute, but uh, so what's that one? Around 11 or 12 watts. It doesn't look like it shows both of them. Let's say that you had some double A batteries that you needed to charge. We should be able to take this charger here, plug this in, and it'll recognize these batteries and it should start charging them. Yep, it is. So I don't know if you've ever tried taking just like a regular power bank and charging like some earbuds like AirPods or the AirPod Pro, and sometimes those will not work because they don't recognize that something's plugged in because these draw so little wattage to charge. Well, one of the features of this X-Star is they are supposed to recognize those really low wattage devices. So let's see if it shows any draw. So yeah, I don't know what the conversion is there. It's only like a watt or something like that, whatever five times 0.3 is, but it's a really low wattage. Yeah, five times 0.1. So these are probably charging at less than one watt. Let's see about the pros. So these are around, it looks like about two to two and a half watts charging. So if you had a device such as earbuds and it was not charging for whatever reason, you can double click the side button and it puts it in a low current mode and something that needs like a trickle charge or again a low wattage, this should do it in that low current charge. I'm sure that most of you guys know that this little ribbon is just used for like helping to pull those out. Um, you really don't need it though. You can just easily grab onto those and pull it out. So if you don't like that kind of in the way, you can just take some scissors and just cut that off there. This charger has quite a few safety features built into it, such as reverse polarity if you put the batteries in backwards, um, and then also like overcharge protection. So I obviously just got this, so this is not a long-term review of this charger power bank. Uh, but first thoughts are, it actually is pretty cool uh, to be able to take batteries, charge them up, and then you can unplug that and then use this as a power bank. What makes this really nice too is like you can take this with you and if you had two 21700 batteries that's probably going to be around 10,000 milliamp hours 
you could probably charge your phone three times or so, three and a half times. Um, but you could easily just take extra batteries with you and you know leave these in your car or whatever. But like this package right here, I have two 18650s in here and then four more 18650s here. And I mean, this would easily get you through multiple weekends or whatever, you know, camping trips. Even having something like this would be great for power outages. Again, you have batteries that are charged up. You can, you know, plug in a, a USB powered lamp. And you can see I have power now. And this is pulling just under 10 watts. And again, this would last for probably days. And then all I have to do is put other batteries in if these were to uh, die out. Can you take one of these if you have a power outage? Once this goes dead, you can't do anything with it basically. This here, I can easily just pop this off, put in some fresh batteries and continue to have light. So yeah, overall, I think it's a really cool product uh, and would definitely recommend having one. So at the time of me making this video, these are available on XSTAR's website uh, for $24 and they're only available in black right now. And there is like, I think around $10 in shipping on them. They're not available on Amazon just yet. Um, and you can see there's gonna be three other colors when they are available. But I'll leave a link to XSTAR down in the video description. Um, I'll also leave the Amazon link so whenever they do become available, uh, you can find out more information or pick one up there if you'd rather. But all right, guys, if you found the video helpful or informative in any way, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And that's going to be it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.